put bacon on my grilled cheese sandwich. I will not put bacon on my grilled cheese sandwich. I will not put bacon on my grilled cheese sandwich. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Desperately Seeking Sandwiches. Um, before we get into today's content, I just wanted to take a moment and acknowledge um, that I was wrong, okay? Um, I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong, I'm not afraid to grow and change, but a few months ago I made a video that um, it offended some people, and you know, I never never want that to be the case. Um, little did I know that when you add bacon and tomato or really anything else to a grilled cheese sandwich that you can't call it a grilled cheese sandwich anymore. You have to call it a melt. And uh, so for that, I just again want to say that I am truly, truly sorry for anyone that I offended uh, when I made that sandwich. It certainly wasn't my intention. And um, I certainly couldn't care less what your people opinion is. So here's what we're going to do today. Um, because I got some messages and some comments, I made the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich. I thought it was amazing. It was bacon and tomato on lovely, lovely sourdough bread. Um, but I get it. That's not a true grilled cheese sandwich. So here's what I'm going to give you today. I'm going to give you that $5.99 grilled cheese sandwich that you're going to get at a diner. But let's be honest, that doesn't take a whole lot of time. So I'm going to take the grilled cheese sandwich, show you how I level it up, and then I'm going to show you what my interpretation of the perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Two kind of after-school classics that, um, you know, you should probably have everything you need to make them already. And if you don't, it's a, it's a pretty quick and cheap trip down to the grocery store. So let's get started with the grilled cheese first. Okay, so what I do, just that's a little bit different. Rule number one, when it comes to grilled cheese sandwich, you must use American cheese. Okay, yes, you can, you can get fancy with it and do cheese blends. I've done that in the past. In fact, I did that on the Ultimate Grilled Cheese Sandwich video, but people told me it was a melt, not a grilled cheese, so here we are. So, good American cheese. Skip the stuff that's wrapped individually in plastic. Okay, go over to the deli counter and get some good American cheese. You will thank me. It melts better. It tastes better. It's really not any different in the price per pound um, region. And you'll just, you will absolutely know the difference. So how I do is I start by getting my cast iron griddle ripping hot. And then I put the bread inside down on that griddle. I want to get just the lightest amount of toasting on the inside of the sandwich. And while that's toasting, I will layer the outside with mayonnaise. Here's why we use mayonnaise instead of butter. You get a better crunch out of the crust of your bread um, because mayonnaise is largely made with oil and eggs as, as opposed to like a butter fat, which is what butter is, but you knew that already, right? Right. Um, and because butter fat burns at a lower temperature than oil. Um, this allows you to make sure that your cheese is melted on the inside before the outside of the bread gets burned. So once you've got your mayonnaise layered on the outside, flip your bread over and now you can put the cheese on the inside. Now you've got a nice hot bread surface so your cheese is going to start melting immediately. Um, again, this is key to making sure that the outside of your sandwich is golden brown and delicious um, while, you know, th while the cheese is fully melted before you bite into it. Um, then, you know, put your, your top part on, flip that bad boy over, rinse and repeat until it's, again, perfectly golden brown on the outside and ooey gooey and melty on the inside. And there you have it. Classic, perfect grilled cheese sandwich. Now for the PB and J, um, the only thing I really do differently than you know how I grew up doing it um, is a 
you know, make sure you get plenty of peanut butter on there. I am a uh, kind of a two to one ratio type of guy. So I like about two parts peanut butter to one part jelly. And make sure you get the peanut butter on both slices of bread all the way to the edges. And then again, about half as much jelly for me, for me. Strawberry is good. Raspberry is good. But apricot is the jam. Okay, so I like apricot in my PB&J. It's the best. It's a little bit more of a grown-up taste, you might say. Um, so I probably wouldn't have liked it as much when I was a kid, but I'm telling you, if you have not tried apricot jam on your PB&J, it is definitely the way to go. But I have been talking for far too long, as it is. What do you say we take a look at some of that sandwich footage? And I'll be right back. Consider perfect and slightly elevated versions of some after-school classics. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like the video, well then, you know, like the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, please. It's a wild, wild world out there. Let's be good to one another, shall we? And I'll see you in the next video.